So he didn't get the interview, but he may have moved the needle. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello first told you about failing fridges from Samsung last year. Well, now a federal consumer safety group seems to be stepping up. I want you to look closely at this series of emails dated January 19th, 2022 from the Consumer Product Safety Commission. You know, the federal agency designed to protect all of us from unreasonable risk of serious injury from thousands of products. They're updating their media list and want to know if I need anything. I'm instantly reminded of folks like... It's not just my model, it's several other models too. Ruth Ann McDonald of Roanoke. March of 18, February of 19, June of 19. Who for years was trying to get her faulty Samsung refrigerator fixed. You may recall my report from last year. Her ice maker was freezing over. The unit was leaking and the interior temperature of her fridge. I'm supposed to be at 37. Um, I'm at 44. Kept food at conditions unsafe for consumption, despite what the temperature was set to. At our request, Samsung quickly sent out a technician and refunded Ruth Ann her roughly $3,000 purchase price. At the time, Samsung wouldn't grant us an interview, despite... Take a look at this from Samsung. Samsung, Samsung has introduced... Granting us access many times before. Oh my God, did you see it? And we could not believe that a recall wasn't issued after we discovered more than 50,000 members of an online support group who shared their own similar stories of fridge fires, floods, and spoiled food. This is how food poisoning happens, Samsung. Dozens telling us they had complained to, you guessed it, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or CPSC, the very same agency now offering us their help. But as soon as I sent them our report, they went from how can we help to here is our statement. Twice they denied our request for an on-camera interview about the years of complaints they have cataloged on Samsung refrigerators. They wouldn't say much except CPSC does send field investigators out to inspect products based on consumer complaints or media reports. That was January 28th. Then suddenly in San Bernardino, California, a phone call. Initially, it was just the ice maker. To Amy Ruiz, who months and months ago had sent this complaint about her failing Samsung fridge to the CPSC, but never got a reply. Not even an email. On the phone, an agent from the Consumer Product Safety Commission who wanted to meet. Did you think it was odd that suddenly out of the blue, the CPSC was contacting you after so much time? I was shocked that finally someone contacted me. Within weeks, the CPSC sent a field agent to Amy's home. They visited for more than an hour. Amy says she shared about her own fridge failures and about the fires, the food going bad, and the Facebook group that, since our first story aired, has swelled from 50,000 to more than 100,000 members. She seemed shocked, like, wow, I didn't realize it was that bad. Why do you think it is that a field representative would be the least bit surprised by this information as if it were new. Um, because she said it is new on her desk. From what she told me, she said all of a sudden from higher up, they're now pushing, okay, we need to start investigating. So I think it is just the initial stages of finally looking into it. Um, and I'm sure this probably just started in the end of January when I was contacted. It would appear, while we didn't get the CPSC interview, we did seem to get their attention. As for Samsung, this is Samsung Pay. They're still not talking. They have again denied our request for an on-camera interview and have not addressed the specific questions we asked them. Instead, they sent us this statement, which points to their best-in-class warranty, praise by consumer index groups, and a phone number for customer service. While Samsung isn't talking to us, they are talking. We have learned that Chris Kim, the vice president of customer affairs at Samsung, was recently flown out to meet face to face with the admin of that 100,000 plus member Facebook group. The same group which has guided consumers through the process of getting Samsung to refund more than $9 million to refrigerator owners, albeit very quietly. A link to that support group and to Samsung's complete statement it is right now on our station website. And when you come see me online, facebook.com slash save me, Steve.